Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will do Science Olympiad test paper, Simple Machine Part 1. Question number 1. Which simple machine turns a ferris wheel? Option A. Pulley. Option B. Wedge. Option C. Inclined plane. Option D. Wheel and axle. The answer is option D, wheel and axle. Question number 2. Which is the characteristic of a simple machine? Option A, they run on electricity. Option B, they take a long time to make. Option C, they have few or no moving parts. Option D, they are not very large. The answer is option C. They have few or no moving parts. Question number 3. Identify the following. Moves at the same time. Both parts turn to help a person move something. Option A. Wheel and axle. Option B. Wedge. Option C. Lever. Option D. Inclined plane. The answer is option A. Wheel and axle. Question number 4. Which is not a type of simple machine? Option A. Spring. Option B. Screw. Option C. Pulley. Option D. Wedge. The answer is option A. Spring. Question number 5. A fishing pole is an example of a compound machine. What simple machines are used to make up this compound machine? Option A, wheel and axle, inclined plane and pulley. Option B, wheel and axle, pulley and wedge. Option C, lever, wheel and axle and pulley. The answer is option C, lever, wheel and axle and pulley. Question number 6. Fulcrum is the dash of a lever. Option A, moving part. Option B, fixed part. Option C, none of these. Option D, it depends upon the class of the lever. The answer is option B, fixed part. Question number 7. Nail cutter is a dash class lever. Option A, first. Option B, second. Option C, third. Option D, both A and B. The answer is option A, first. Question number 8. Which of the following is not an example of a wedge? Option A, knife. Option B, axe. Option C, teeth. Option D, slide. The answer is option D, slide. Question number 9. Elbow joint in a human body is an example of a dash. Option A, class 1 lever. Option B, pulley. Option C, class 3 lever. Option D, screw. The answer is option C, class 3 lever. Question number 10. What is a force? Option A. Friction. Option B. Two objects rubbing together. Option C. A struggle. Option D. A push or a pull. The answer is option D. A push or a pull. Question number 11. What happens if you decrease the distance between the fulcrum and the load? Option A, you will require more force. Option B, you will require less force. Option C, you will require a fulcrum. The answer is option B, you will require less force. Question number 12. Where is the fulcrum located in a class 1 lever? Option A, in the middle. Option B, 
at one end. Option C, a fulcrum is not used in a class one level. Option D, none of these. Question number 13. Human jaw is a dash class level. Option A, first. Option B, fourth. Option C, second. Option D, third. The answer is option D, third. Question number 14. Identify the class of lever. Option A, first. Option B, second. Option C, third. Option D, none of these. The answer is option B, second. Question number 15. A wedge is formed using two dash. Option A, levers. Option B, pulleys. Option C, inclined planes. Option D, wheels and axles. The answer is option C, inclined planes. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video.